What's up everyone? It is Josh and I have been tagged for the half and half challenge which involves answering uh, a bunch of questions. Half of them are gaming related and half of them are personal related. Uh, so I think it's a really good idea just because uh, you get to see a little bit from me on both sides. I know a lot of people already know me but on the gaming side, but the personal side, uh, not so much. So uh, before I get started, there's going to be two things I'm going to say about this video. Uh, the first one is that after watching this video, if you still have more questions, I am doing a Q&A. You can click on the card up there and, uh, and go to that video and leave a comment or a question down in that video and I will answer it in an upcoming Q&A video. Uh, the next thing is going to be, I'm going to tag a bunch of people at the end of this video. Normally it's only three people, but I'm just going to shake things up a little bit and just basically just tag a bunch of stuff. So a bunch of people. I don't, mean to, you know, I don't mean to objectify you and call you stuff, but you are people and you'll be, you'll be tagged. Uh, a bunch of people will be tagged. So uh, that being said, uh, let's get going. So the first question here, uh, well the first set of questions is all gaming related. The first one is, what's a game you were skeptical, skeptical about that ended up being fantastic? Uh, this one is a bit of a surprise for me, uh, mostly because I should have known it was going to be fantastic. But there's precedent, a lot of precedent, saying that it wouldn't be. Uh, and that that game is, um, sorry, all my games are up here. Uh, South Park: The Stick of Truth. If you know anything about me, you know that I don't like RPGs. RPGs are not my thing. So I was really excited they were making a South Park game, and then as soon as I found out it was gonna be an RPG, I'm like, no, a turn-based RPG at that. I was like, no, I can't. Like turn, me and turn-based RPGs, we just don't get along. Uh, that being said, it finally came out. I saw some reviews. It looked amazing. I finally decided, you know what, what the heck, I'm just going to go for it. I bought it, and oh my gosh, am I ever glad I ever bought this game. Uh, I've had so much fun, I've, this is, I've never laughed so hard in a game as I, as I have with this one, so really, really good. I'm a huge South Park fan, and I think maybe the key for me is RPGs that I have a connection to or I'm interested in the source material. That's probably going to be the main one, but other than that, what a surprise. Everyone knows this game's great, but I was very skeptical at the beginning, so that's the answer for me. Next is, if you could have any item from a video game, what would it be? This is kind of a hard one for me. Um, I mean, there's so many that I would like. I'd love to have the portal gun. I think that would be sweet. Um, but I think the one I really, really want is, if you guys ever played the game Time Shift, uh, that guy has a helmet that basically has the ability to slow down and speed up time. And I think that would be really cool. Just be like, things are going too fast. I can just slow stuff down and I can just concentrate. I can still move at normal speed, but the rest of the world just slows down, uh, or I can speed it up at, at, at will, I guess. So I think that would be really cool. I think that would be my pick. Next is, what is the best video game related gift you've received from a friend? Now, I've received a ton of gifts over the years, uh, especially since being on YouTube. I've had a bunch of gifts given to me from a bunch of people on YouTube, uh, friends and whatnot. So it's really hard for me to narrow this down to one gift. So I'm gonna do a bit of a cop out here and basically be the gift of friendship. No, I'm kidding, that's really, that's really bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> kind of. Anyways, uh, I have this, this NES blue cart. Um, I won this blue cart from um, on a contest here on YouTube and uh, I didn't know what to do with it because I, I already have this game, but I didn't, I didn't know anybody else who needed to do it. So I was like, you know what? It's kind of blue tape. It's, it's, it's not super valuable in this condition, but I'm gonna have some fun with it. So I've been taking it to all bunch of conventions and I've been getting all of my YouTube friends to sign it or anybody from YouTube really uh, to sign the front and the back. Uh, even got some inappropriate drawings on there. But you know what? I think this is the best gift I could have received from anyone. Uh, not, not only from uh, the person that I won the contest from, but also from everyone who signed the cart. Uh, so thank you very much, everybody. The next question is, what is a game you really enjoyed but no one else seems to know about? This is a really easy question. This is the one that came immediately to my head as soon as I read the question. And a lot of you are probably gonna laugh at me, but I'm gonna say right here, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Uh, this is on the PS3 and the 360. What a game. This game is amazing. Uh, it's a terrible, terrible movie. Uh, I, I really dislike the movie. Uh, however, I played the demo on the 360 back, way back in the day, and it just blew my mind. It was really, really good. It's super, super gory. It's brutal. It's fast-paced. It's, it's the Wolverine. Everything the Wolverine does best is just ripping people and machines to shreds. So, tons and tons of fun. So I would recommend, uh, if you don't have it, pick it up. 
it's super cheap now you can get it for under 10 bucks um, I would really recommend it um, yeah and no one talks about this game it's kind of faded into obscurity people see that and they're like oh that's gonna be terrible uh, it's really good And the last gaming related question is, what game do you think deserves a sequel or a modern remake? And again, I'm gonna have to kind of cop out on this answer. There's two, and I couldn't decide between the two of them. Uh, the first is Spec Ops The Line. I really want a sequel to this game. <laughs> this is one of the, 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 the few hidden gems, I'm gonna call it that, uh, on, the th on the 360. I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, I, I, contrary to popular opinion, I really do enjoy the gameplay. I think that it stacks up really well. Um, it's a little bit different. If you're used to Gears of War or Army of Two, you'll feel right at home with this. Um, same basic controls, just a few things are a little bit quirky, but I think it's part of the, the personality of the game. But that is nothing com compared to the story. The story is absolutely great. I fell in love with the story, um, which is a lot of praise coming from a third person shooter. So. Check it out. Uh, if you're a fan of Heart of Darkness, and you, or even if you know a little bit about Heart of Darkness, pick it up. It's really cheap and definitely a lot of fun. It will it will send your mind to some dark places. Uh, so that's going to be the sequel. Uh, so I was kind of splitting this question into a sequel and a remake. And the remake would be F-Zero. And it wouldn't have to necessarily be this one, but just a remake. I want a new F-Zero. Um, Nintendo's been dropping the ball on their on their re-releases or their their continuations of series with uh, like Mario Party, Mario Tennis, all that kind of stuff, and like um, was it Animal Festival? I don't know, Amiibo Festival, whatever you want to call it. I don't play those games, um, but F Zero is one that needs it. It's pretty hard to screw up a racing game. I think Nintendo should really just bite the bullet and do it. Not that they're gonna listen to me because who am I? Um, but maybe, you know, on the NX, not that I'm planning on getting an NX anytime soon, um, bring back the F-Zero, even if it's on a 3DS, I would take that. So the next set of questions are all personal related, so if you want to know me a bit of a more of a personal level, here we go. The first question is, who is your favorite mus musician or band? Now, this could go a ton of different ways, I, my mood swing from left to right all the time. Um, but uh, I, it's really, really hard to pick up one. I love a lot of hip hop, a lot of rap, a lot of metal. Um, it just, there's so much. So um, maybe the one that I can come up with off the spot that's really kind of been there throughout my entire life would be, and don't laugh at me, but Linkin Park. Um, <laughs> I was, a, I remember getting Linkin Park's first CD, Hybrid Theory, and I was like, this is a great CD. This is a great CD and a great band. And I really enjoyed the music, and I, I remember going on a road trip and listening to that CD over and over and over. We went to a road trip through the States for two weeks, and I think that was the only CD I listened to for two weeks. So I had everything memorized, and even to this day, if the song comes on, I can just bam, 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 I can, I can bring it up. So I'll go with that. That being said, hip-hop is like one of my favorite genres of all time, so uh, we can go anywhere with that, like Biggie or uh, Tupac, and those are really, really generic ones. <laughs> But even more uh, recently, Logic is really good, and um, I, I even like some of Kanye's stuff. I mean, what's not to like there? Um, Jedi Mind Tricks. Uh, I can't even. I can't even bring it up. The Roots. I, there's too many. So I'll, I'll I'll leave it there. What's something you really liked as a kid but don't care for now? This one is also very hard, and a lot of them are kind of TV show related. So probably like Power Rangers. I know a lot of people are really loving the Power Rangers, especially, and I, I watch a lot of people on YouTube that love Power Rangers. I love Power Rangers, and I think that I, I love it so much, I don't want to go back and ruin that. Um, I've watched a few episodes from from back then, and I try to watch them now, and it's they're so cringeworthy. <laughs> So I just want to leave it alone and be like, I'll preserve the memory I have of, of really enjoying that show and just kind of leave it at that. Um, but yeah, probably Power Rangers. Uh, what is something you, or what's something dumb you did as a teenager? This is really easy. I've done a lot of stupid stuff in my life. Um, I grew up overseas where there was no laws and no rules basically. So um, I was a bit of a daredevil and a bit of a stunt guy. So I would, do lots of stuff. My friends would dare me to do stuff and I'd do it. Um, I've eaten a lot of questionable things. I've fallen out of trees. Um, a lot of you may not be able to see, but I've got a scar along my arm here. Arm uh, where I, I fell 25 feet out of a tree and landed on my arm. 
um, from that. And then uh, I've also had a motorcycle. Actually, never mind. This is from my motorcycle accident. Sorry, this arm was the tree. Uh, so I've done a lot of stuff. Um, it's 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 not easy. So yeah, driving fast is is dangerous. Be careful out there, kids. Um, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a baseball player. That was my one my one thing that I remember doing. Um, I didn't know a whole lot about baseball. I didn't realize the, the time commitment and the energy and the athleticism that it takes. I'm not super athletic. If you met me in person, I got a, I got a few pounds on me that I should probably not be there. Um, but uh, I remember really enjoying watching baseball and I didn't really understand the rules. I didn't didn't really know what I was talking about. Uh, now it's of course a little bit different, and I know more about baseball. And a huge huge fan. If you hadn't, couldn't tell from any of my videos. Um, but yeah, of course, living overseas kind of puts a kibosh on that. You can't really go to training camps. You can't really be part of a baseball club or kind of work your way up to the system. So instead, I'm now a video game collector. Uh, what what did you... Oh, never mind. If you could go back and do one thing different, what would it be? Um, I think now, now that I know how my life is turning out, I think I would go back and kind of reschedule how I did things. So I did one job for a while that I, that I ended up hating and I didn't know that at the beginning so I would have not done that job, I would have found something different. Or I would have done something earlier to get me to this point, I would have gone to school earlier instead of waiting for five years. So just little things like that, a little reorganization in life, I think that would be my answer. So now it comes time to tag people. Here we go guys, I'm going to tag a bunch of people. Here's the trick, if you've watched this entire video, you have been tagged and I want to see your response. Uh, and I expect to see it. Um, shoot me a, a comment down below with, uh, if you do make a video, I'd love to see it. I may not be subscribed to everybody who watches this video, but if you've seen it, please leave a link down in the comments below where I can find it. That being said, I'm gonna tag a bunch of people as well personally that I know that I haven't heard from in a while. So, uh, Canadian Retro, uh, Long Shot, Liquid Wayno, uh, we'll, go up, we'll go out with some CJR, uh, Gamer Alley VT, some Berry Down Mars, uh, Console Kev, how about you? Uh, Crack Lotus, uh, Lost Gamer 8519. I haven't seen his his any answers from him recently. Um, oh, so many people. Uh, J Rock the Game Rocker, we'll go with you. Pam, um, I will go with you. Um, any from anyone from the Cartridge Club, Round Two Gaming, sure, why not? Uh, this list can go on and on. <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, hopefully, I've said your name, and if I haven't, you're still tagged. So have fun with that. And again, leave me a comment down below. As a reminder, again, if you have any more questions you want to know about me, please check out my Q&A video. I'll leave another card up there. Click on it, ask me a question in the comments, and away you go. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.